Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Nastin Padasale. In this video, we are going to revise for our DBT BITP program. So please read the description that I have given below. Okay, so first question is bovine spongiform ends up flow with disease which is caused by this disease which is caused by period. So periods are also an infectious agent just like virus, but unlike virus and bacteria which have a specific genetic material, these periods they don't have any kind of genetic material, simply they are abnormal and pathogenic proteins. Okay, they can easily get infectious healthy individual and they will be converting a normal cellular protein into period protein and these period protein are highly abundant in brain okay so generally the disease caused by period protein will be affecting the nervous system only okay so this period they can easily transmit spread by direct contact casual contact and they can transmit by eating contaminated food with period proteins and also few environmental factors these are human born period diseases like period can, ca can cause disease both in human as well as animal cjd variant cjd grisman schwarzschild sinker syndrome fatal familial insomnia insomnia and kuru are the human period diseases and kuru is the first period diseases identified in human okay this kuru is generally being uh, uh, due to cannibalism because people who are residing in uh, Australia, the island in Australia called New Guinea, they have a ritual process in a uh, ritual process like when a person get dead, the per people will be eating the brain tissue of the dead person. They will be breaking open the skull and they will be taking out the brain and they will be eating the brain tissue. Okay, some cases the brain will be con consisting of this abnormal pathogenic protein called perion protein so by that mode also healthy individual will be getting a perion protein inside his body okay next animal perion diseases include bovine spongiform encephalopathy which will be affecting cattle and chronic wasting disease which will be affecting deer elk moose and scrapping will be affecting sheep and goat and transmissible mink encephalopathy will be affecting mink and feline spongiform encephalopathy will be affecting cats and ungulate spongiform encephalopathy will be affecting ungulates like horses Next question is Helicobacter pyrodi survives in the acidic environment of stomach because it produces an enzyme called urease. So Helicobacter pyrodi is an urease, it's a spiral shaped enzyme and it is generally present in the mucous layer of our stomach. Okay, so they will be secreting enzyme called urease which will be converting a urea into ammonia and this ammonia will be neutralizing the hydrochloric acid which is also called as gastric acid in the stomach. So by producing this urease enzyme, they, the particular bacteria can survive happily in our stomach. Next is virgins are responsible and necessary for transferring your tDNA into the whole genome that is your plant. The product of which one of the following gene is tightly associated with the 5' end of the pizza and help in nuclear targeting. So generally BIR D2 gene are responsible. They will be tightly associated with the 5' end of the tDNA and this BIR D2 carries the nuclear localization signal. Okay, so here I had given the virgin and a function. First is virgin, which is a kinase protein present in the membrane of bacteria and they are phenolic sensor receptor and they will be activated by sensing the phenolic compound called acetosterone which will be secreted by the older blood. Next is virgin which is a transcription factor which will further activate the other virgin present in the PI plasma. Both the virgin and virgin are expressed continu continuously called constitutive expression. Next is virbi operon which have totally 11 virgin. Virbi operon is responsible for synthesizing and assembling of T pilus and specifically virbi 2 gene is responsible for producing a protein called pre profiling which will be converted into a pilin protein which is responsible for forming a pilus in bacteria. So, with B1, B2, B5, B7 responsible for forming pilin and with B6 to B11 it can form conjugation tubule channel for tDNA transport. So, this with B gene also combines with with D4 gene both are will responsible for forming this type 4 secretion system which is also called as mating pair formation apparatus between bacteria and plant. Next is with C gene. These are responsible for promoting and pro promoting high efficiency tDNA synthesis because they are involved in processing of the tDNA. Next, both will be recognizing and binds to overdrive enhancer element present in the right border of the TI plasmid. Next is with C1 is a helicase which is involved in unwinding of tDNA. At the same time, both the genes are responsible for spatty location of your tDNA in a correct location so that they can easily get transmitted inside the plant genome. Next is with D1 which is, respond, which is a topoisomerase which will be relaxing the supercoiling in the tDNA because only single standard tDNA alone have the capacity to trans, uh, transport from bacteria to an enter into the plant cell nucleus okay and this with d1 gene also help us with d2 gene in order to recognizing at the same time it also help the with d2 to clear the right border of tDNA. 
The D2 gene has two activity. One is endonuclease. It cuts the tDNA at the right border to initiate the single stranded tDNA synthesis. And next, it also has an integrase function, which helps in integrating the tDNA into the chromosomal DNA of the host. Plant. And this VIR D2 will be covalently attached to the 5' end of the tDNA via this password I still got. Next is VIR D4, which is a coupling protein. Already we had said it will it has coupled with VIR B operon and it helps in the formation of type 4 protein secretion compound. At the same time, this VIR D4 also combines with VIR E2 gene. Both VIR E2 and VIR D4 will be carrying a plant nuclear localization signal and they also interact with the host protein present in a plant genome called VIPP, that is VIR E2 interacting protein, and they'll be facilitating the T complex import into the plant cell for hormones chromatin target. Thing. Okay, so both will be carrying a nuclear localization signal. Both the gene will be acting inside the plant nucleus. So, VIR E1 is a chaperon protein and it will be stabilizing VIR E2 gene. And next is VIR E1, which is a single standard binding protein. At the same time, it will be protecting the tDNA from the attack of nucleus inside the plant nucleus. Okay, at the same time, this VIR, T, uh, VIR E2 gene will be helping intercalating in the lipid molecule which are present in the membrane of plant. Okay, next is VIR F gene, which will be uh, responsible for proteosome dependent ubiquitination of both the VIR D gene and VIR E protein inside the plant cell. As I mentioned you earlier, VIR, G, uh, VIR D gene and VIR E gene will be uh, acting inside the plant nucleus. So, once they have completed their task, they need to get degraded and it is done by VIR F gene. Next is VIR H genes. So, after a particular concentration, the phenolic compound will kill a bacteria. It will become a bacteriostatic agent and it will be killing the bacteria. Okay, in order to prevent that, will H gene will be coding a cytochrome P450 oxygenase and it will be de detoxifying the harmful phenolic compound. So, here I have given VIR D4, B3, B4, B11 will be constituting a ATP dependent translocation machinery helpful for DNA transport. In this diagram, we can able to see VIR H is present in the bacterial membrane and it is uh, responsible for sensing the signal and it will be activating VIR G gene and it will be active with G will be activating the other VIR gene present in the VIR region and this VIR D1 and VIR D2 is responsible for nicking the DNA and here you can be able to find a rocket like appearance that is VIR D1 which will be attached to the 5 prime end of the tDNA okay and this VIR F is a uh, violet color bottom and this VIR E2 is orange color thing. okay so here you can be able to see VIR B operon and VIR D4 gene are responsible for forming this type 4 secretion system and they form a channel bacteria so through this channel the tDNA can transport inside the thing so inside the plant cell your VIR F gene is there VIR E2 gene they will be coating a tDNA stand in order to protect the tDNA from the attack of nucleus and both the VIR D2 and VIR E2 they will be having a plant nuclear localization signal so they will be safely carrying the tDNA inside the plant nucleus. So, after the tDNA will be get integrated in the plant nucleus. So, this VIR uh, D2 gene and VIR E2 gene will get degraded by VIR F protein. Okay. Next question is from among the option given below, RNA polymerase 2 transcribes which one of the following? So, here I have given RNA polymerase 1 will be transcribing 20S ribosomal RNA, 28S ribosomal RNA, 5.S rRNA genes and 18S rRNA genes whereas 5S ribosomal RNA will be transcribed by RNA polymerase 3. And this RNA polymerase 2 is involved in transcribing your messenger RNA and SM family of small nuclear RNA and some of the sino, uh, sorry, small nuclear RNA, uh, small interacting RNA, micro RNA, PV interacting RNA, long non-coding RNA. These are transcribed by your RNA polymerase 2. Next, the gene that are transcribed by RNA polymerase 3 include transfer RNA, 5S ribosomal RNA, LSM family. So, sim, uh, small nuclear RNA are classified into two subtypes. SM family is trans. Gene that are coming under this SM family will be transcribed by RNA polymerase 2. And gene that are uh, coming under this LSM family will be transcribed by RNA polymerase 3. And some of the sim, uh, small nuclear RNA. So, the small nuclear RNA are transcribed both by RNA polymerase 2 as well as RNA polymerase 3. And next is 7S L RNA. Okay, so this is a cytoplasmic RNA which you have an important role in signal recognition peptide. Okay, so once your protein has been sec uh, sec uh, secreted from the ribosome, then it has to enter into a destined location. So, signal recognition peptide will be acting. So, this particular RNA will be in, uh, involving in those particular signal recognition activity. Next is 7 SK RNA is also been transcribed by RNA polymerase thing, which is involved in transcription elongation process. So, here the question is that option given below RNA 
polymerase 2 will be transcribing which of the thing. So, ribosomal RNA is transcribed by your RNA polymerase 1 and transfer RNA is transcribed by your RNA polymerase 3 and this micro RNA and other small interacting RNA, PV interacting RNA will be transcribed by RNA polymerase 2 and this RNA polymerase 1 is present in nucleolus and this RNA polymerase 2 and 3 are present in nucleoplasm. Next, the function performed in smooth endoplasmic reticulum is Okay, so here I had given uh, endoplasmic reticulum are classified in two types, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and rough endoplasmic reticulum. In smooth endoplasmic reticulum, there will be a synthesis of lipid and steroid hormone, metabolism of carbohydrates will be done over there and in specifically in muscle cell, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is a storage site for calcium ion. At the same time, detoxification of drugs and poisons will be done in this smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Next, what are the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum? In rough endoplasmic reticulum, generally, protein, a post-translation modification of protein, like modifications of protein, folding of protein, disulfide bond formation and glycosylation process, everything will be done in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And specifically, when you are thinking about glycosylation, which is a process of addition of carbohydrate, the N-linked glycosylation only will be uh, done, uh, N-linked glycosylation will be take place in rough endoplasmic reticulum and O-linked glycosylation will be done in Golgi apparatus. So, here the function performed by smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that it is involved in detoxification of ducts. Okay. So, Detoxification of drugs and addition of n linked sugar will also be done in smooth endoplasmic reticulum, whereas addition of O linked sugar, O linked sugar will be done in Golgi apparatus. Okay. So, we will be continuing the next thing in part 2 video. So, thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video.